to come out to see if um, they've been granted um, leave to appeal uh, against the fact that Holly Gregg is being, they, is being what they want to, the institution wants to take, them, take her into care because they're saying that the exposure and the campaign concerning her case, her outrageous rapes by members of um, the Scottish institution, we're talking about lawyers, we're talking about um, politicians, we're talking about doctors, right across the board. And they're trying to hush this case up and it is coming out. Well, we've got Robert Green, um, he's languishing in prison at the moment because Robert is the person, Robert Green is the very, very brave man, a very tenacious man as well, who has stuck with this case through thick and thin and he is on a mission. And um, Robert Green um, has um, earned so much respect from people. If you've got children, Robert, Fre Robert Green is a hero. It's Robert Green is in fact one of the superheroes that you will maybe one day have to protect your children. So you've got to get up off your chairs. We're not interested in armchair activists. You've got to come out on the street. You've got to um, get in touch with your members of parliament and you've got to say, why isn't the Holly Gregg case being portrayed in the national media? Okay, Any other, you can put anything else, Chris? Um, why, is this, why is this a personal issue for you, please? It's a personal issue for me because um, not only as a filmmaker, as a documentary filmmaker, my whole family were brought up and abused in the institutional care systems of this country. Um, whether that be um, sexual abuse, psychological abuse, or just violence, manipulation, parent and family alienation. That's why I'm here. That's why I stepped out of the film world and came into documentary filmmaking. Because unfortunately, um, though I did have contacts in the film world, many stars are well aware of what's going on and they will only come and do their bit if it gets on, that, on the national media. So we are citizens media and we, you know, don't edit this to pieces, Chris. But I understand that Bono's interested in it now, but what you've got to look at, you've got to look at the Live Aid concert and many of those artists went in and, and, and performed at the Live Aid concerts to heighten their profile and their record sales. But unfortunately, downloading has um, put a block on that. Fortunately, it takes these kind of horrors to bring us together. And there are many activists and there are many organisations that we have in fighting from all parties. And we have to do away with that. You cannot, you don't see the police bashing each other up, do you? No, they come and bash us up. And if I could just say, as far as the police are concerned, there are many good police officers that have children and they are starting to turn. And I'll be talking to many of these police officers and they are saying they're not allowed to give interviews and um, they'll talk to you on the street, but if you've got a camera and a press pass as I have, they won't talk and they're not allowed to talk. And that is making, that is making a lot of police officers are fuming over this because when it comes to child abuse and they are fathers, it makes it look like they are part of the ring and they yeah. don't want that and we don't want that either. And all you police officers out there that you see this, and I know a lot of you watch all, all, all these films, you are put, being put into the same pot as the institutions that, have been, that were raping people yeah. like Holly Gregg. And Holly Gregg is here as an example for us. She is not the only one. Justice for Holly Gregg! Justice for Holly Green! 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 It's good, isn't it? Yeah! Justice for Holly! Free Robert Green! Justice for Holly! 